prayer in holy memory of our Marinist founders, the forebears of our Marinist charism, Blessed Father William Joseph Chaminade, Mother Adele de Bas de Tuenquelion, and Venerable Marie Therese de la Maru. I am Brother Tom Redman of the Marinist Novitiate Community at Mount St. John here in Dayton. The Spiritual Life Committee of the Marinist Family Council, Brent Devitt, Bergamo, Sister Leanne Jablonski, and myself have prepared this prayer with the design skills of Sister Emily Sandoval and the writing assistance of Kateri Dillon with the intercessions and Nancy Wisty with activities at the end of our program and the support of our Marinist Family Council. We welcome all of you joining us from the many communities that are connected currently in Dayton and many who have connected with us online. So welcome, especially to all of those in Ohio who join with this as part of their celebration and our friends uh, from other places of who you can follow in the chat box. We are grateful for the generous gift of candles from the Society of Mary and for brother Tom Pieper who added the strip with the logos of our three branches. The FMI New International logo, the Marianist Lake Communities of North America logo, and the Society of Mary US Province. Have this candle or another one ready in your house, ready to light. If you would like one for your household and haven't picked it up yet, head to 301 Key Faber House Porch later today, or contact Brother Tom Pieper at tpeeper1 at udayton.edu, and he'll get one to you. Our prayer will be in two parts today. Our first half will be virtual together. Then you're invited to continue with the story sharing and activities in your own household today, or to stay online if you live singly or want to share with others. At 4.15, those who wish can rejoin the Zoom for optional, fun, virtual games prepared by our fun committee. Download the program for both parts one and two and as a future resource. Please remain muted during the prayer so you can sing and pray aloud freely. To aid our streaming, turn off your own video feed now until the prayer is over. You'll be invited twice to add to the prayers of gratitude or intercession in the chat box. So please do turn off your video feeds now. Let us take a moment of silence as we begin. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. A light no darkness can extinguish. We invite you now to light your candles. Let us pray. O oh God, everything that exists originated in those creative words you spoke at the beginning of time. Let there be light. To renew creation and our relationship with you and one another, your word light became human flesh and lived among us through Mary's openness and responsiveness. We ask for that receptivity today as we celebrate the lives of our Marianist founders and how they responded in faith to the needs before them. Inspire us and bless us with their courage and generosity so we too may faithfully shine as your light for the peoples of Dayton and our world. Amen. We celebrate, we remember, and we sing.
one to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God set the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. I want to see the brightness of God. I want to look at Jesus. Clear sun of righteousness, shine on my path and show me the way to the Father. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. I'm looking for the coming of Christ. I want to be with Jesus. When we have run with the patience the race, we shall know the joy of Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. At this time, we name where we have seen God's light working in our midst this past year, highlighting ways the spirit has moved and worked among our greater Dayton Marianist family and the networks and partnerships we're part of and the signs of light in our region. In gratitude for the students at Chaminade Julienne, Moeller and Purcell Marion High Schools, as well as students from the University of Dayton and all young people for their re resiliency and passion to bring light to the world. In gratitude for forming lay community that has remained committed to discerning how to grow despite the pandemic and the challenges it has brought. We thank God for all our communities, for Zoom, and the creativity of our virtual and outdoor gatherings, which have helped us stay connected. In gratitude for the North American Center for Marinus Studies and its numerous methods of promoting the Marinus charism, and for all the other ministries at Mount St. John and the Marinus Nature Preserve, time outdoors that has nourished us during this time of COVID. In gratitude for our new partnership in the Five Oaks community with Our Lady of Grace Parish and Food for the Journey Project, where together we share food with those most in need and forge a relationship of fellowship through shared prayer 
while we cannot be together in person during the COVID-19 restrictions. In gratitude for our partnership with the Dakota Center and our shared commitment to urban justice, education for the whole person and community gardening. In gratitude for Mission of Mary Cooperative and its resilient adaptations, which have allowed it to remain a safe and nourishing presence in the Twin Towers and wider Dayton community. We celebrate its 10th anniversary as a force for justice, supplying nutritious food and creating beautiful green spaces. In gratitude for all committed to the ongoing work against racism in all facets of our church and society. In gratitude for all essential workers who have risked their health in service to us. In gratitude for the Gem City Market, which has persevered in its development as a community gathering space, grocery provider, and employer in West Dayton. And what are you grateful for? We invite you to add your prayer of thanks and express your gratitude, including for the ministries and partnerships in your place. Please put those in the chat box. Gratitude for new community relationships, affiliation, for St. Vincent St. Mary's, for Vandalia Food Pantry, Elizabeth New Life Center, St. Chris, all in health care and hospital chaplaincy, our new president. becoming a Marianist affiliate for Sunshine in Dayton, the technology that allows us to mix like this, for groups meeting safely, for Almost Home, a ministry providing housing in St. Louis, for those doing year of service, for SM novices, for relatives, friends, workers, for House of Bread, for scientists who have developed vaccines, being able to stay connected for our parishes, St. Luke, for an empty hotel converted into a homeless shelter in Wilmington, Delaware, for our continued Mariness presence at DeSales in Cincinnati, for the freedom to worship, for artists, poets, Amanda Gorman, for inspiring resiliency of people during this time of pandemic, for teachers, for the continued health of everyone. Blessed are they who are poor in spirit, theirs is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, make us poor in spirit, bless us, O Lord, our God. 
Blessed are they who are meek and humble, they will inherit the earth. Bless us, O Lord, make us meek and humble, bless us, O Lord our God. Blessed are they who will mourn in sorrow, they will be comforted. Bless us, O Lord, when we share their sorrow, bless us, O Lord our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Bless those who hunger and thirst for justice, they will be satisfied. Bless us, O Lord, hear our cry for justice. Bless us, O Lord, our God. Blessed are they who show others mercy, they will know mercy too. Bless us, O Lord, hear our cry for mercy. Bless us, O Lord, our God. Blessed are hearts that are clean and holy, they will behold the Lord. Bless us, O Lord, make us pure and holy, bless us, O Lord, our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Blessed are those who bring peace among us, they are the children of God. Bless us, O Lord, may your peace be with us, bless us, O Lord our God. Bless those who suffer from persecution, theirs is the kingdom of God. Bless us, O Lord, when they persecute us, bless us, O Lord our God. We are the light of the world, may our light shine before all, that they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. A reading from the Gospel of Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. And he began to speak, and he taught them, saying, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one after lighting a lamp puts it under a bushel basket, but on the lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to our Father in heaven. From the letters of Blessed Adele de Bats to Troncaleon. My God, divine spirit, enlighten us with your divine light. Courage. The one for whom we are working will be our light. With the most common instruments, God can do marvelous things. We must be generous in his service. Our good example must enlighten the community. Others must always find our hearts open to all their needs. Father Chaminade's invitation to be a spectacle of saints. 
Lay Marianist helped build and sustain communities of faith and hope in a time characterized by competitiveness, violence, and individualism, communities provide a visible place that responds to the needs of ordinary men and women to reflect in depth on their faith and to sustain their hope for the future. For Marianists, communities are the favored means of evangelization and effecting social transformation. Lay Marianists invite and help people to build communities that increase sensitivity to the needs of others and sustain the involvement of members in a common mission and a variety of ministries. At their best, our communities are, as Blessed Chaminade dreamed, a spectacle of saints and a sign that the gospel can be lived in all its vigor. He rebuilt the church in post-revolutionary France by forming small communities to be a joyful spectacle of saints, spreading the faith by contagion. When joy and goodness abounds, others notice and want what we have. From Venerable Marie Therese de la Marouse. Let us constantly beg our good mother to strengthen us in our weakness, to increase our courage and our faithfulness, and by the love she bears us, to preserve us from the misfortune of ever losing sight of what faith has a right to demand of us with greater reason than of others. We are grateful for Crystal Sullivan, a member of the Micah Theotokos community and director of UD's campus ministry, who will share her reflections. Good afternoon. When day comes, we ask ourselves, where can we find light in this never ending shade? The loss we carry, a sea we must wade. These are the lines that were eloquently proclaimed by Amanda Gorman at the presidential inauguration on Wednesday in her poem, The Hill We Climb. This 22 year old youth poet laureate held the attention of our nation with her spoken word style poetry, drawing us into her reflections on perhaps the question of our day. Where can we find light in this never ending shade? For the loss we carry today is as wide as the sea. I do not really need to list all of the things, nor can I, for you know the pain of loss you carry just two months shy of a year of COVID isolation or quarantine. This isolation we know is hard to ignore because it pervades everything. But I need to name a few things just to set the context of our reflection. The isolation has prohibited communities from gathering, families from celebrating, students from going to class, people from grieving and touching and hugging and more. It's an isolation that has made the most vulnerable essential to support everyone else without paying them living wages. And if it isn't bad enough, or maybe because it was bad enough, it's an isolation within which the pain of racial injustice struck again with more police violence when people took to the streets in protest and drew lines on whether or how to authentically proclaim that black and brown lives matter. The hungry in our community are growing hungrier and more are joining their ranks. And at the beginning and before too long, we started to hear of illness and then of death, but it was about people who were far away until it wasn't. Truth became arbitrary 
and political polarization in our nation has gotten deeper and extended into our families. And it's even spread more deeply into theological polarization in our church and within our faith communities. And then there's violence. And even as we take a deep breath in a sea of political change, we still utter, it just cannot get any worse than this. This, my friends, is the shade within which we are living. A clouded time, a time verging on darkness. It's a shade that we are under collectively, but that also has had unique implications for each person here today. How do you feel it? This is the context within which we ask, where can we find light in this never ending shade? It's not unlike the context of our founders out of which the inspiration to form communities of faith that had the potential to be transformed was born. Never has it made more sense to me than it does now, how a movement like the Marianist movement could be born out of the rubble of the French Revolution. Theirs was a shaded time too. Where can we find light in this never ending shade? Jesus tells us in the Gospel of Matthew that we need not look far. You are the light of the world. Now, one of the gifts of being on a Zoom forum is that most of us can see ourselves on the screen. So take a good look at the image of yourself and say to yourself, you are the light of the world. And if you're in a room with another person or two, look at them and say to them, you are the light of the world. This is actually a truth that can be hard to accept or hard to own as personal, but it is ours nonetheless. But Jesus doesn't stop there. He goes on to proclaim, a city built on a hill cannot be hidden. No one after lighting a lamp puts it under the bushel basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. Let your light shine, not for your own sake, but to give glory to God. The light we shine has as its purpose to give glory to God, to build God's kingdom. And when we consider our impact as a community, the Marianist family, we can indeed be that city on the hilltop that cannot be hidden, a city whose light is so bright that it becomes a beacon. This, I think, is what Father Shamanad meant when he envisioned the movement to become a spectacle of saints, people whose light was so bright, it could not be avoided. A light that would attract others and spread by contagion, giving glory to God. But I have to say that when you feel like you're living in the shade, it can be awfully hard to be light. When you're forced into isolation, it can be awfully hard to be light when you're grieving or accompanying people in grief or working harder than ever to do less than you ever have been able to do and more is required, it can be awfully hard to be light. I don't think it's a coincidence that in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus taught the disciples the Beatitudes before he told them that they were the light of the world. As I reflected on this, I noticed something new about this passage of light in our experience today. Jesus is talking to a crowd of people who know what it's like to be living in the shade. Theirs was a shaded time too. Listen to this. Blessed are those who know spiritual poverty. Sounds like shade to me. Blessed are those who mourn. We've already called that shade. 
Blessed are those who are persecuted for being good, still more shade. And in each of these, Jesus promises that in God's kingdom, these will be remedied with comfort, inheritance, fulfillment. I'd call these remedies light. He goes on to bless those who seek righteousness, those who are merciful, those who are peacemakers. These will see God. These will know the kingdom of heaven. These will be the light. And so we ask ourselves again, where can we find light in a never ending shade? People who know what it is to live in the absence of light are promised the light of God's kingdom. We find that light in seeking goodness, by being merciful, by working for peace. And in seeking this light, we too become the light of the world. In the words of Mother Adele, the one for whom we are working will be our light. Christ will guide our way to the light. The light we have is the light of Christ. And as she says again, with the most common instruments, God can do marvelous things. Yes, this has been a time of seemingly endless shade. But also, it can be a time of hope. Why? Because light shines brighter in the darkness than it does when it is already light. There is no need to use a flashlight when the lights are turned on or to light a candle to guide your way in the daylight. You cannot see the stars when the sun is shining. Darkness and shade, they have a way of making light feel brighter. The light that has the most impact and that we need the most is the light we shine when we are in the shade. And so the time to be light is now. The time to live deeply our mission as a Marianist family so that we are a light on a hill that cannot be hidden is now. We know already the transformative impact that community has, both on community members but also on those that witness our mission. Our presence here today and our commitment to our communities and to one another is evidence of the light to which we are drawn in one another. The world needs our witness as a Marian family. Our church needs our witness of inclusivity and social justice that is an expression of faith and a confirmation of the goodness of all creation. We all know people who are searching for light that can be found in solidarity and through belonging to an enterprise that is bigger than ourselves. And each of us here bears some element of that light, a glimmer of God's kingdom. As Matthew would put it, lamps on a lampstand, illuminating the whole house, a city on the hilltop. I return now to Amanda Gorman, whose closing lines of the same poem proclaim, there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it. If only we're brave enough to be it. Indeed, there is always light. Christ is our light. We are the light of the world. Let us be light. Let us take a moment of silence to be aware of what is stirring into flame in our own hearts.
And let us stand as able and join with Mary who walks with us as we proclaim her Magnificat, our song of praise and justice. My soul cries out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great. And my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fixed your sight on your servant's plight, and my weakness you did not spurn. So from east to west shall my name be blessed, could the world be about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Though I am small, my God, my all, you work great things in me. And your mercy will last from the depths of the past to the end of the age to be. Your very name puts the proud to shame and to those who would for you yearn. You will show your might, put the strong to flight, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. From the halls of power to the fortress tower, not a stone will be left on stone. Let the king beware, for your justice tears every tyrant from his throne. The hungry poor shall weep no more for the food they can never earn. There are tables spread, every mouth be fed, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Though the nations rage from age to age, we remember who holds us fast. God's mercy must deliver us from the conqueror's crushing grasp. This saving word that our forebears heard is the promise which holds us bound. Till the spear and rod can be crushed by God who is turning the world around. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Thank you, Crystal, for that wonderful reflection. I will try this again off mute. So we now pray for the needs of our communities and world. Our response to each intercession will be Christ, be our light. For our newly inaugurated leaders, elected officials, and all in leadership roles, that they may serve as examples of humility and self-giving coaxing the arc of the moral universe to bend closer to true peace, which is the presence of justice. We pray, Christ, be our, be our light. Christ. For our world, ravaged by the coronavirus pandemic, that all people may respond with persistent compassion for all and reverence for the lives of the most vulnerable we pray, Christ be our light. For 
for the church and the Marianist family throughout the world that inspired by the vision of our Marianist founders, we may respond to the needs of our times, growing ever more expansively across barriers of race, sexuality, gender, and class. We pray, Christ be our light. For our Marianist Urban Solidarity Initiatives, that we may offer a taste of Mary's mission to the people of East and West Dayton through freshly grown produce and nourishing respite bags. We pray, Christ be our light. For all who mourn and who feel alone or alienated with the added complexity of physical distancing, that they may find comfort in community we pray, Christ be our light. For the great cloud of witnesses who have gone before us, especially our Marianist brothers and other members of our Marianist family and our own family and friends who have died in the past year, that they may dwell joyfully in your loving embrace, O God, we pray, Christ, Christ be our light. And for other prayers we hold in our hearts, we invite you to add those to the chat box. For all struggling with unemployment or job insecurity, we pray, Christ be our light. For students and teachers and school staff, we pray, Christ be our light. For the many people who ask for our prayers and to whom we promised our prayers, and, they, and for the graces they need this day, we pray, Christ be our light. And thanksgiving for the vaccines being rolled out. Christ be our light. For an end to the death penalty, we pray, Christ be our light. For Thomas Harris and his parents, we pray, Christ be our light. For an end to COVID-19, we pray, Christ be our light. For those battling extended and terminal illness, we pray. Christ be our light. For the homeless and those who fear losing their housing, we pray, Christ be our light. Let us gather our prayers, entrusting them to our triune God with Mary as we sing. May the Let us pray. Almighty God, you inspired Blessed Father Shamanad 
and Blessed Mother Adele de Trinquilion, with Venerable Marie Therese de Lamoureux, to found a family especially dedicated to Mary. We ask you to grant us through their intercession the grace of fidelity to their spirit and vision. Strengthen our alliance with Mary, our mother, and our sister, so that we might be formed into the image of her son. Grant us a clear vision of the needs of the church, our nation, our city, and the world, and give us the courage to respond in faith raise up new vocations in our Marianist family and draw others to join with our Dayton Family Council and urban initiatives so that our work under the leadership of Mary may continue to bring about the reign of God in justice, peace, and integral care for all creation. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our light and gift of love for the world. Amen. And we pledge to be that spectacle of saints as we sing, clap, and move. Let's be a spectacle, a spectacle of saints. Let's be intentional and build communities of faith where all are equal a sign of love and grace let's be a spectacle a spectacle of saints let's, let's be, be a spectacle, spectacle.
We invite you all now to restart your video feed so we can all see our spectacle of saints that's gathered uh, today. Thank you to all who worked on the planning for today and for all of you who participated by Zoom. We will now be transitioning to part two, our household family and community sharing in response to what we've heard. If you live singly or would like to join the sharing by Zoom and breakout rooms, do stay online. Groups should aim to end by 4.10 to give a short break uh, so that those who wish can uh, come back and rejoin the Zoom for the games that begin around 4.15 planned by our fun committee. Happy Founders Day all. <laughs>